Hi, this is Hugh at DHA Web Design. In this video, I'm going to show you how to simply create a custom post type and use advanced custom fields together with Beaver Thema to create really powerful and simple to execute layouts. This isn't meant to be an in-depth guide. It's really rather an introduction and a bit of a beginner's guide to uh, how to use this, and hopefully you'll find it useful. So the site I'm going to use for this is a nutritionist site, and I'm looking to create recipes um, in a way that will be easy for the end user to input new recipes. So well, let's head over to the site. So the first thing we need to do is create a custom post type. So the plugins we're going to need for this are custom post type UI, advanced custom fields, both are free, the free versions of the plugins, um, and of course Beaver Thema and the Beaver Builder page builder. So first thing you would need to do is create a custom post type, which is a custom post type of recipes. So I'm going to go ahead and add edit post types. Uh, and this is where you would put the slug, um, which I would call recipe, plural and singular labels. I'm actually going to show you, I've already done this, so I will show you what it looks like. So for my post type of recipes, this is the post slug, um, plural label, singular label, which means it will appear here uh, once this is done as a new recipe. Um, the rest you can pretty much leave as is. As is sorry. Um, what I've just done is set as archive to true. There's a bunch of options, but at the simplest, um, I wanted an archive page for this, so I've got has archive. Otherwise, that's it for creating a custom post type. So it's pretty simple. Once it's done, hit save, and your post type is created. Because I want to be able to categorize those recipes by a couple of dimensions, uh, meal types, for instance, and special diets, the next step would be to create taxonomies that will apply to that custom post type. So you would go and add edit taxonomies here um, and create them again with a slug. So it might be meal type, for instance, is a slug. And then here, meal type and meal, um, meal types and meal type. Um, I will show you what it looks like because I have already done it. So I've got the taxonomy of meal type. Um, this is his plural and singular label. And I am attaching it to the post type of recipes, which I've already created. Um, and that's one, and I've also done it for special diets, so same process, let's say special diet, plural and singular, and you can see when I head over, because this has already been done, when I head over to recipes, I have meal types and special diet categories, so that's all done. So the next step, because this is a, a re these are recipes, these are great types of posts to um, put advanced custom fields on, because a bunch of fields are going to be repeated all the time. So things I might repeat on this particular post will be uh, maybe a short description, a summary of the recipe in, in addition to the description. Um, and I will also have things like cooking time, preparation time, um, difficulty, number of people it serves, uh, and a featured image. So this is where Advanced Custom Fields is great. So let's head over to Advanced Custom Fields and create our fields or look at our fields. So to create custom fields, first you create a field group which will attach to that post. Uh, this is already done here, but I'll show you the process and then I'll come back to show you um, what I've done here. So just simply go to add new, name your field group, which here would probably be, I don't know, um, recipe fields, something like that. Um, and then location also, you need to attach this to a particular type of post. So I'm gonna attach it to the post type equal to recipe. And this is why you need to create a custom post type first, of course. So if I attach it to this, then it will make sure that those this field group, all the fields I create within this group, attached to that um, particular uh, type of post. I'm not going to go into the options here, but that's basically the first step. So if I go back to my custom fields and look at what I've already created, um, so I did this group, which has four fields in it. And the four fields I've created are difficulty, serves, preparation time, cooking time. Um, so if I show you how that works, so here's the field I created. So I've got the first one here called difficulty. So let's edit that. Um, I give it a label, name, a type of field. This is a text field. Um, it could be a number because, well, actually it actually could be a text because it'll be easy, um, medium, or difficult. You can put a custom a value which will save, if it's most of them are going to be easy, then it will save the user having to input the text every time, but that's not necessary. Um, and no conditional logic on this. This is a really basic, um, basic setup. Um, so that's that one, um, and then it's pretty much the same on the others. The serves field, field label, field name, it's a text field. It could be a number field actually, because it's going to be um, two, four, six, whatever, but it's fine. Default value I've put as two, 
Um, forget the prepend. I don't. We don't really need that at this stage. And then it's the same for preparation time, cooking time. So these are my field. Now the field names you're going to want to make a note of because you're going to need those when you try creating your layouts with um, Beaver Thema. That's really important. So maybe copy paste them somewhere or keep them open in a window. And the next stage of the process is we're now pretty much ready to create our layout. Um, before we create a layout, um, what I'd advise you to do is to go and um, input a recipe. So I've created a few here. Um, the reason you want to create one is that the fills are actually filled in so you can see what you're doing when you're actually creating the um, layout in Thema. So let me just edit this so you can see. I'm going to work with this one, this fresh avocado beef wrap. So pretty much a standard post editor, title, description. Um, here you can see my meal types and special diets have appeared because that's the taxonomy I've allocated associated with our custom post type. If you don't see it, just you know go to the screen options and make sure they're actually showing. Um, so I've allocated those, featured image, um, and then you can see because I've added custom fields, um, you can now see that my fields are appearing here. Um, and this is what the user would fill in. So if it was a 15 minute recipe, they put 15 minutes. So difficulty easy. I'm going to put it very hard. Um, serves to 15 minutes, eight minutes, and the excerpt. Um, so there's not always a need to create custom fields for everything because you get those anyway, including the excerpt. So I'm going to use that as my short description rather than create a short description field. So that's all filled in and ready. Um, now the normal practice for custom post types, obviously, would be to create a PHP page template um, because whilst the custom post type plugin creates the actual post type, it doesn't actually display it on the front end. Now traditionally, um, the easiest way would be to take the single PHP page of your theme, in which case, in this case it's the Beaver Builder theme, um, and then copy paste it across to your child theme and rename it. Um, in this case, it would be recipe single. Um, but actually, Thema makes all that redundant and much easier because you don't need to do that at all. So let's over to, head over to Thema and pull it all together. So I'm going to go to the Builder, Thema Layouts. As you can see, I've got a few created and we're going to be working on the recipe layout here. But let me just show you the creation process and then I'll go back to look at the recipe layout. You would simply add new and then um, give it a test. So I'm going to test layout. So so, it does, so it's not called the same as my recipe. Um, and it's a theme layout. It's not a header. In this case, it's a single page. You have a number of choices, but here we're looking at creating a single page template. So it would be singular. And I'll add it to the theme layouts. And at this stage, um, you're almost ready to head to the, to the page builder and style it. Um, but the first thing you have to do is give it a location rule, which is when do you want it to appear. So in this particular case, we'd say, um, we actually want it for um, the recipe um, and we want all recipes. You could also have a different um, display rule for different recipes, but in this particular case, we just want it to be across. So you simply say, I want it to be on singular recipe posts, all recipes, um, and you could then head over to the page builder to um, style it. I'm going to show you what that looks like on the one I've already created. Okay, so I'm back on the Thema layout screen and I'm going to go and look at my recipe layout. So I'm going to first edit this so you can see where it is. So there it is. It looks pretty much the same as what I've done. But here's recipe layout, singular recipe, all recipes, and I'm going to launch the page builder. Um, and this will launch Beaver Builder. Now, what's happening here? This is all already filled in and I'm, I'm just going to take you through the detail of how that works. So um, field by field. So the first field here is simply a heading field. And actually, it's only got the heading of recipe um, because I want that to be a fixed text field. Um, here, I want to call the um, categories. So what I'm going to do is, um, in fact, let me go with something simpler first. Um, if I go here, this is the excerpt. Now, the way I've done this, is I've simply connected the field. So let me get rid of that connection for a second um, and save that so you can see it from scratch. So here it is. Um, here there's a text field with nothing in it, text editor. So I, would, I brought the text editor in here. 
And then instead of typing text, which you would normally do, you get this little plus button in Viva Thema. Click on the plus button and you can choose to connect uh, the field or insert it. I will deal with insert in a second, but first with connect. So I'm going to be looking for my, um, actually this is the excerpt. So this is a standard um, post element. So these are all the available fields. But what I want here is the post excerpt. So this is a standard WordPress excerpt in my post. And I'm going to connect that. Um, and save it. And if I save that, you will see that that's not brought in this. Let me show you what that looks like on the back end. Okay, you can see the recipe now, and you can see this is where that excerpt is. So it's going to pick up, pick up the post excerpt. So that's a simple connection. And here is another connection. Um, it, this is actually the featured image. So what I've done in here, in fact, I'm going to um, delete that and create it again so that you can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to go in here um, and take a photo module, bring it in here. And I'm instead of selecting a photo from a media library, I'm actually going to connect it to an existing field. Now this could be a custom field from ACF, but in this case, it's actually the custom, the um, except that, sorry, the post featured image. So there's a post featured image. If I connect this, it's automatically going to go and fetch it. Um, I don't want to be, I actually want it to be full size, um, so it works well. And I will go and save that and save. And that's it, because I've already set the featured image in the custom post type here. So that's brought it in. So these are simple connections. This is another connection. It's simply bringing in the, um, you can click on this. This is a text, it's bringing in post content. So again, if I get rid of this, um, click on plus, and you can see this is a post content, which is the standard WordPress editor in that particular post. So I'm going to connect that, save it, and it will bring in the whole description. Um, here I've got fixed fields. So this is just a fixed text. And these are the um, UABB social sharing icons. Um, and then in here, because I want some text and some numbers, um, and the same thing in here, I'm actually using a slightly different feature of Thema, which is super powerful, um, which I will show you now, is actually um, using the... Um, actually, let me show you just a slightly slim, slimper one to start with. So this one here is using um, the insert method as opposed to the connection method. So if I click on this, it's already done in here, but I'm going to get rid of it. Um, and I'm going to um, do it manually. So Here's my heading, so I would click on plus. Actually, what I want here is I want to say um, uh, meal type, for instance. So I'm going to go meal type, colon, and here I want to insert the actual uh, taxonomy for that post, which is meal type. So I'm going to go plus, and I'm going to be looking for my taxonomy for my custom post type, which will be Apologies, I had to just double check something. So I'm going to put mail type and I'm going to insert the um, taxonomy for the post. So here I'm going to be looking for the post terms list and I'm going to be wanting to insert it. And it's then going to give me option of the taxonomies available for that post type. And one of them is mail types. So I'm going to put that here. Um, and there's only one mail type per um, post. Otherwise it would separate them with a comma click on save, and you can see this is now inserted here, the taxonomy mail type. If I just wanted to do that, um, that would just work. I would click save, and on this particular post, because I'm using the avocado beef wrap, I'm previewing it as avocado beef wrap, it's brought in the, um, sorry, the lunch category. So same thing, I'm gonna do that again. Um, and next to it, I actually want the other one, so I'm just going to put space, put a separator, and go special diet. And again, I'm going to insert my special diet taxonomy, which I have got here, post terms list. Insert that. Go into the special diet. This is why you need to do all the taxonomies before you get to the layout. It makes life much easier to think through the structure of that before you get there. And allow it to be linked so it can take pull to the archive. Um, and you can see there's my mail type, it's inserted here, and there's my special diet, it's inserted here. Save on that, and voila.
there here. Um, and I've used the same method here for cooking time, preparation time, and formatted it. So let me open this so I can show you. Um, so again, I've done it. I can, I'll do it again to, just to show you. So if I wanted to put uh, I don't know, um, cooking time again, I'd do cooking time colon. So that would be fixed text. And you can see my text is appearing down here. And I would go and insert the, in this case, it's the custom field. So this is, what, this is where my custom fields come in. So if you go to the bottom, you've got here advanced custom fields. So these are advanced post fields, and I'm going to insert the field, and it's a text field. And this is where you need to remember what the field name is, which I obviously have forgotten. So I will just go and look it up. Okay, I've headed over to my custom fields, which is where they're all listed. So what I'm trying to do here, I think, was uh, putting difficulty, I think. So this is the field name, so I'm just going to take that name, copy it, and pop it in here, like so. Um, and it's brought in the name. You can see I've done it here already. Save that, and voila. You can see it says easy. Now, it's formatted differently, simply because you can also format stuff. So here, if I wanted to be bold, well, I would simply just now bold that, um, which adds the strong tag either side. Save that, and it would appear like this. So essentially, this is how I do this. This is where the power custom fields, advanced custom fields, really comes in on top of Thema. So um, really, this is the post featured image. This is the post title. That's a fifth bit of text. These are the special taxonomies I've allocated to my um, custom post type of recipe. Um, this is the excerpt. This is the description. And in here are all my custom fields. So let me open this again. Conscious that I may be going a little bit quick. Um, so basically what I've done is created this layout and inserted every single field. So here, so cooking time, this is wrong. Um, so the way I've done this, so if I started again, I would go difficulty colon because that's the text I want to prepend it with and I would go to the bottom look at my advanced post custom fields insert it and it's a text field and I have to remember what it's called in this case it's difficulty so that's fine I know I'm repeating myself apologies um, I'm going to copy that in here Save that. If I wanted the next one to be um, preparation time, and I would insert. So the important difference is inserting rather than connecting. If you connect, then you're connecting a single field without the ability to put text before or after. With a connection, you can actually insert it within a sentence even if you want. Um, in fact, let me show you that. Um, if I wanted to have something that looked more like uh, um, this recipe is, and here I want to say whether it's easy, difficult, or medium, that's where we'd connect. So I would say I'm going to go advanced custom field, post field, oops, insert, and I should know the name by now. It's called difficulty, difficulty. Save that, and it only takes, and here I want to say X minutes to prepare. So I'm going to insert my preparation field. This is where this, this is really super powerful. So my preparation time is here. So I'm going to just copy that so I've got it. It only takes, and I'm going to insert the field I want to appear, so it only takes, insert post field, and the post field is preparation time, save, preparation time um, to prepare, you can feed, you've guessed it, I'm going to look for the um, field of um, serves number of people that that recipe serves. So I'm going to go there. Insert another field from my advanced custom fields. Oh, sorry, this is taking a bit long, but I think you get the meaning. with the give you the drift now. Um, and I'm going to pop in the name in here, which is my serve field. Click that serves. X 
lovely guests. And the magic should work. He says should. When I save this, you should see that it's pulled in. This recipe is easy and it only takes 20 minutes to prepare. So this is being pulled as a custom field. That's a custom field and that number is a custom field. And voila. Now, why do it this way? The super advantage of doing it this way is imagine you have um, a site with 100 recipes, 200 recipes, and your client certainly says, actually, that's lovely, but um, I and I want to put the um, preparation time and all that, all those fields down here. Or I want to insert another one. Now, you could do this, um, if you had done this just with a um, Beaver Builder template, and just manually then input the content on every one, you'd have to go and change every single one. The beauty of this is that a single change will affect everything. So if I just click on done and publish this, that will now be the way every single recipe looks like. Um, in fact, I think I've got other recipes. And let me just check. I will come back in a second. Yeah, so if I look at my other recipes, there's another one here where there's data. The image isn't right, but it will give you an idea. Um, there's the recipe, so it's taken exactly the same formatting. Um, and you can see, because I've put this in the template, it's actually added it to this. Now, the beauty of this is if you suddenly said, oh, actually, what I meant to have is have this um, center aligned, you would simply go into the page builder, um, go into your singular recipe layout, um, which is now allocated to all those recipes, and go, that really should be um, styled as, uh, I don't know, tell you what, right, text, save it, done, publish, and now every single recipe um, should be, so if I go into my uh, dessert category, I should be able to fetch that one, um, and that's right aligned. So this is where this becomes super powerful, particularly for content that will be repeated, where you may or may not make design changes later. Um, I think this is it. I hope you found it useful. And um, as I said, it was only a basic introduction. I've only really just myself started playing with ACF. Um, but hopefully it will help some people get started on the super powerful feature that is Beaver Thema with Advanced Custom Field and Custom Post Types. Take care.